do a now drill, now. So we're gonna give you a stimulus, it'll be Z's whistle, and what you guys will do now is you'll press the gun out, I'll demo, Z will whistle, I'm gonna press the gun out, I'm gonna have a sight picture, and the whole drill until he tells me put my gun away, I'm gonna be on the sights, on the trigger, at the wall. So again, if we don't know what the wall is, all of these triggers are different. Some of these fancy 1911s, there's a little bit of take up. Some of you that have customizations, the trigger might not move at all. My double action Beretta, the trigger's like a rock until it goes to single action. So depending on your trigger, you're gonna take up whatever pre-travels in the trigger. That doesn't mean the gun goes off. That means whatever that sloppy movement is in the front, and there's none of these are right or wrong. It's just whatever your machine is. As soon as I get, as soon as I hear it and recognize that this whistle has happened, I press the shot, I reset, and I wait for another whistle. That's my whole job. Z could say fire, Z could say penis, whatever the stimulus is that we choose. If we're doing it right, it will sound like boom, because some of your reaction times are gonna be slightly faster or slower. As we get tired, our reaction time diminishes. Your hearing, you might not hear it as well. And there'll be one or two of you where it goes boom and then we hear bang, bang. And it's gonna be like, whoa, that dude's got some issues, right? Go ahead and draw and present. All right, go to the wall. Now, all I'm gonna do is tell you to add a little bit of pressure until that gun goes off. So maintain your sight picture and there it was, right away. All right, reset it again. Now say that's 80%. So he took it, moved his trigger basically 80%, which is the wall. Now I want you to add just 10%, just 10. Add 10 more. 80 plus 10 and 10 is 100. So he knows his trigger pretty well. So we'll do that for everybody just to feel what your trigger is. And then now go back to the now drill so that we just know what we're feeling our trigger, know what it does. Now right here, he's at the wall. He knows how much creeps in that trigger before it goes off. He knows what it takes to be 100%. So when I blow this whistle, he's gonna engage immediately and reset his trigger immediately. You're not watching the target, guys. He's set. getting a little grippy. All right, so he had to lean into it. You know, he starts shooting it, the gun's gonna rock him, so he's leaning into it, but his finger was bang, reset, and he's waiting on me, he's waiting on me. Mm -hmm. Nothing's changing in my grip. I'm gripping the shit out of the gun as much as I would be as if I was shooting a string of fire. My, basically, we've gone to the point, I'm about to shoot this, and we're, we're isolating sight picture press, sight picture press, and forcing you to reset the trigger. Reset the trigger means trigger forward right back to the wall. Forward right back to the wall. So we can all do this together. Being this close to each other, a couple of you might be eating some brass. It's okay. I want you to get used to that because we're going to eat a ton of brass doing these TCCC exercises this weekend. So square up everybody. We're going to fill our trigger out first. So go ahead and draw your pistol. Present it. All right. Now go to your trigger wall. And we'll call that 80%. You're right at your wall. You've got a good sight picture. All right, now I'm gonna tell you to add 10%. That should be nice. Whoa! Yeah! Add 10%. All right, bring up the trigger, press, relax. So listen, we're gonna press out and now off the whistle. So you're gonna reset that trigger every time, lock that bitch in like it's supposed to be locked in, but to manage that gun like it's supposed to, have that good sight picture and on the whistle, you press through and reset the trigger immediately. Here we go, press out at the wall. Good sight picture, listen for the whistle. Nice job. That was a good one. Trigger, tack mag in your workspace right there, safely, safely. Good sight picture at the wall. Lock that bitch in with your support hand too.
I think when I get too close to the wall and I have all that pressure, I noticed a couple of times I fired twice because I was like, I'm, I feel like I'm at that 80% you need the 10 and the 10. And I was like, all right, I'm back out and I, oh, I hit it again. So, and that's why we're, you know, we're out here trying to figure them out. Make no mistake. We're not telling you point your gun at some bad guy in a mall and be like 10%, 10%, 10%. But check it out. The next couple days, you might be on the other side of the range here. And we might have a steel target 20 or 30 yards from you. And you might be one handed and you're missing while, while we're calling threat and you're trying to shoot this freaking target and you're not hitting it because you're just geeked out going Grah! and you're missing all over the place you may have to work this pressure 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 as you're focusing on your your sights right so this is there's a there is some value to this away from just shooting a drill it's the that we're compartmentalizing like missing i got a hit and every time you shoot what's happening to your gun it's getting less and less bullets in it right I better fix this, I better fix this, I better fix this. Oh, hey there. Mickey with Carry Trainer drew behind the camera today. It's a beautiful radiant weapon. You know, I think to myself, I'm really glad I always have this thing with me. I never am without it. That and my trusty Glock 19. I've always got them both, so any problem that comes my way, I can solve them. Of course, I'm joking. And the other thing is, even if I've always had these, these guns don't solve every problem. They solve a very narrow set of problems. And those problems are something that requires deadly force. If you bring a firearm into a fight, you are telling the world you were in fear of death or great bodily harm, or that you're an idiot if you didn't need the gun. Open hand skills are fantastic. Verbal judo, the ability to communicate with somebody and maybe back them up. Maybe running away is important. But what about less lethal options? Things like pepper spray. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. We've got some stuff here from our friends at Palm, P-O-M. And what I like about Palm, made in the USA, folks have said to me, hey, I don't know who Palm is. Who's Palm? Well, if you've seen any pepper sprays, in the last 30, 40 years here in the USA, Palm is involved in them in some way, shape, or form. They own the patents on a bunch of the parts that make all the big name pepper sprays work. So if you look at this and you're like, oh, that's just some new company, I'll stick with the big guys, make no mistake, these are the big guys. They've been making the parts utilized in all that stuff for a long, long time. When they designed this, what they were thinking about, Palm, was being able to Keep it in your palm. Now you think about a lot of us that have something like this, especially the ladies, I'm not knocking on you, but you get some of this and where is it? Yep, it's in the bottom of your purse or in your glove box or at home. In order for this to be of use, it's gotta be accessible, especially when we think about when we need this stuff. Usually it's some type of ambush situation. Somebody comes into your space and you need it to, you need to be able to deploy it quickly to repel them. As you're moving about spaces, places, this can be in your dominant hand, keys maybe, or whatever else in your other hand, or nothing at all, unless you got a briefcase or bag or something like that. But practicing carrying this is something that you should be doing as you're moving about. Just as important, Palm makes a inert uh, solution. So it's really just water. It's not gonna hurt you. It's not going to burn you like this stuff would. Doesn't mean you shouldn't practice with a real one, but make no mistake, this stuff sucks to get in your mucous membranes. So if you order some of this, get three or four of the inert so that you can practice. If you give one of these to your daughter, your wife, if you have one, practice with this so you understand what's coming out of the stream or what that stream looks like when you deploy it. Because what often happens is if we never, ever, ever see it, you don't want the first time that you use this and it's to try to get somebody away from you. You don't want that to be the first time you've ever seen what it does or how far it shoots or what that stream looks like. So grab some of each. Palm pepper spray, made in the USA, made for everyday carry, easy to hold, easy to use, affordable. And hey, we've got a discount code. It's carry trainer. Buy yourself some of the actual spray and some of the inert palm.